What's up everybody? It's Annie aka Annie Luhu and in today's video I'm going to be talking about surgery. So if you're my friend, family, coworker, you already know that I'm having surgery very very soon. As in today is Saturday and my surgery is on Monday. Like it's happening. So surgery uh, today, let's see, how do I say this? Okay, how do I say this? I'm going to be having rhinoplasty. So if you're thinking, Bish, what? Why? What the hell? Trust me, when I told all my friends, family, coworker, everybody, they have told me the same thing up until this day. They're like, why are you doing that? You're crazy. You're beautiful the way you are. Uh, you don't need it. Like, you're tripping. You're spending your money for nothing. Like, you need to go see a psychologist with that money, for, if anything. Like, no. So, I'm getting my nose done because, like, I've always hated my nose. Uh, I feel like it's too big. Like from far away and like certain angles, it looks fine. But for the most part, like literally, I want to say 96 to 98% of the time, the reason why I don't post a selfie is because I hate my nose. Believe it or not. Like you would not, probably not think that, but I do. I've always hated my nose since I was like maybe... 16 to 18 and my whole life obviously but I literally have never trusted anybody with my face like my my nose is well obviously it's on my face but like I do not trust anybody with my face so I'm like oh hell no I've been to multiple consultations and even a bunch of doctors on like Rodeo Drive Beverly Hills and I just do not like their style. Like, it's all about the style. There was even those doctors like on TV that like did those botch people and stuff. And they were magical. They did the like really good work. I just didn't like their style. So, uh, I wanna say like three years ago or almost three years ago, I was on Instagram and I came across this doctor called Dr. Gavami. So I went to his page and I was seeing like all his nose jobs cause he like, that's what he specializes in. So I'm sitting there looking at all his nose jobs and I'm like, whoa, like I love his style. So I didn't like pull the trigger right away. Like, oh, I'm getting it done by him. Like, no. So I sat there and watched him for a while. Okay, like this nose job, that nose job. Some more would pop up here and there. And I'm like, all right. I liked his style. So I waited a while and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna book a consultation. Let's just see if, I already know I like his style, but can I even afford him? Like, I don't know, this guy, he he looks pretty like, he's high up there like in knowledge and just everything. He, I, I was looking into him, I did my research, trust me. So I booked a consultation and he went over everything that he was going to do and stuff. And I was like, hell yeah, let's do this. And then they talked price and I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm not going to talk, talk about price in this video. I'll do it in my next video. Like, because by then I'll already have the surgery. So I'll go over everything and that way you have a more general idea. But um, just stay tuned for that. So... Yeah, so anyways, I ended up saying, yes, let's do this, all that. So even to get a consultation took like almost a year, like no joke. This guy is like in high demand. And I want to say I booked my appointment two years ago. So yeah, I'm barely having my surgery now, two years later. So anyways, it took a long time. And then I had another, like, that was just like the consultation, whatever. And then it was like, okay, you schedule your surgery date. And I'm like, all right, uh, this is really happening now. So I scheduled my date and it was set to be for like January. And then like, I was like, uh, I'm not ready. I'm pushing this. Then I pushed it to July. And then I got the flu in July, so I couldn't have my surgery. We pushed it again. And now it's going to be September 9th and I'm getting my surgery done. So... This Monday, I am getting my nose done, and I wanted to make this video so it's out there in the world, and if it's relatable, 
welcome to my world and if you don't like surgery I'm sorry and I'm it's for me so what I don't like about my nose cuz you're probably thinking the same thing that everybody's thinking except for me like literally my husband nobody's like you don't need it but I'm like I want it so that just goes to show like it's what I want believe me as much as the surgery is I've been thinking like do I really need this surgery do I really want it um, like just everything I've been even up to the, like when it was July and the time was coming I was like oh, should I chicken out should I back out maybe I do love my nose but I really don't so I'll try taking selfies I'm like no if I don't do it I'm gonna be so unhappy I just need to do it and if I don't like it god forbid well there goes that but I'm very very confident that Dr. Gavami is gonna do an amazing job if you go to his page at Dr. Gavami you will see his work he does all kinds of amazing stuff so I'm just like okay all right let's do this so up, up leading up into my surgery day uh, I had my pre-op appointment just like not that long ago two weeks two weeks before your surgery you have your pre-op appointment you have to be paid completely in full you have to pick up all of your prescriptions beforehand because they want everything to go as smooth as possible once you get out of surgery plus I have a lot of help outside, like once I get out of surgery, but you're going to be all jacked up. You're not trying to wait to go get your prescriptions filled, none of that. So when you go into your pre-op appointment, they give you this little booklet, like it has a, it's a checklist and like it tells you, um, you know, confirm your right, obviously, and all that good stuff, all the shit you shouldn't do and you should do before surgery. Uh, before your surgery, you have to take blood work like so they know you're good to go and you know they're putting you under surgery is very very dangerous so they're putting you under they want to make sure you are a1 and if you're not a1 like let's say you have complications who knows what's wrong with you uh, if you're not that healthy I don't even know if they would do surgery on you but pretty much I'm healthy as a horse so I don't even know but anyways I'm blabbing Jesus but uh, yeah they make sure you're mentally prepared for everything that's gonna happen after surgery so obviously this is before surgery guys I am terrified of everything up until this day I am terrified I have anxiety like I don't know what the pain's gonna be like I don't know anything but anyways like I was saying oh my god I'm a mess they, you have to do your blood work it has to be in you have to be paid in full and then you gotta get your prescription so they give you all those prescriptions you're probably thinking like for surgery why do you need so many damn prescriptions like right. so you need it for like anxiety they give you medicine for that they need to cover all their bases so they give you one for bruising they give you one for anxiety they give you one for the obvious pain they give it for insomnia I've seen a lot of videos like you can't sleep bro oh my gosh I look at all these videos. I try not to look at the actual surgery because then I'll be freaked out. So, OMG. I see people bruised eyes, eyes swollen shut, they're depressed, everything because you're just so swollen in the beginning that you're just like, what did I do to myself? And that's why I'm putting this video out there too because this is my nose right now, boo. And, okay, let me zoom in so you guys see what I do not like so this is the real deal I ain't got no filters I don't know how to do that shit yet but this is my nose right now so what I don't like about it is the, the tip I don't think like this is too bad whatever I contour the shit out of it and it's hella obvious but like from far I'm hoping like well, bitch we good you know full on Monet or whatever you call that clueless that's what I'm trying to do like I'm back here Cause you know up close damage look at those pimples but uh yeah and then when I smile like it gets even wider so I want him to do the tip and the way he like explained it I I feel like I'm gonna be snatched to my expectations you know and like I said I have full faith that Dr. Vomming 
is gonna do the job. Heat a bomb. But uh, yeah, I just, I don't like this. It's not so much the profile, even though he is gonna fix my profile. Like, I have a baby bump, but um, he's gonna get rid of that and then just, it's mainly the tip. If you go to my last Instagram picture, maybe you'll see like how hard I contour it. It's there, but because I just don't like it. And if you like your nose and your body, like I said, kudos to you. I, I value all opinions. Even if you guys are telling me the same exact things that my family and everybody's telling me, like, bitch, you're tripping, bitch, you're vain, bitch, this, like, I get it. I get it, I know, but that's what's gonna make me happy. I'm already prepared for all the bullshit when I go back to work, like all my friends and everybody tell me, oh, it looks the same and this and that, I'm gonna be swollen, so that's probably gonna make me all sad and shit, but you know what? I already know his results after, so it's gonna be the bomb. But yeah, so I really hope you guys understand and I wanna put this video out there so you guys see what's going on. You're gonna see the after, like this is obviously the pre-op. So I'm gonna try to vlog everything so you can see what's going on behind closed doors and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's see how this is gonna go. I am super excited for my nose. I hope it's the nose I expect and that I love and uh, I'm, I'm prepared. I am ready. Oh, sorry, I spit. I'm ready. Like, uh. so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow my journey. This is the whole pre-op and why, what I'm getting done, why I'm getting it done. If it's not enough reason for you, well, girl, bye, or boy, bye, whoever, bye, bye, bye. No, I'm just joking. Anyways, but um, yeah, so if you're thinking about it, don't do it yet. Wait for me and then we will see. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. For now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I talk way too much. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm just like... Da, 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 da. <laughs> but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!